Here we will be demonstrating about the posterior abdominal wall. The posterior abdominal wall, basically the vessels present over here, see this is the aorta, right, the abdominal aorta. Piercing the diaphragm at the level of T12, coming downwards at the level of L4, will bifurcate into the common iliac arteries. And this common iliac artery will further go and divide into the external iliac artery and the internal iliac arteries. Here you can see, right, we have the external iliac artery and here we have the internal iliac artery. On the right side of the aorta, you can see the presence of the inferior vena cava, right? Similarly, from the common iliac veins at the level of L4, you can see behind the aorta on the lower part, the inferior vena cava is forming at the level of L4, will move upwards, receiving various tributaries like the gonadal veins, the renal veins, and will receive many veins and will pierce the diaphragm at the level of T8 and will reach into the right atrium. Now on the aorta, on the abdominal aorta, you can see a branch present over here. This one, this is the celiac trunk, right? The celiac trunk with its branches, namely the left gastric artery, the splenic artery and the common hepatic artery will supply various structures arising from the foregut. This is the superior mesenteric artery with its branches like the medial colic artery, the right colic artery, the iliocolic artery, also the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery will supply the various structures forming from the midgut. And on the lower portion, at the level of L3, you can see the inferior mesenteric artery with its branches or like the sigmoid branches, the left colic artery will supply the various structures originating, arising from the hindgut. So these are the three arteries, the celiac trunk supplying the foregut, superior mesenteric artery supplying the midgut and the inferior mesenteric artery supplying the hindgut. Now, on the left side, I'll show you the muscles. Here we can see, see, this is the source major muscle. So here we have the source major muscle. We know that the lumbar plexus, it, the branches of the lumbar plexus comes out from the substance of the source major itself. So on the anterior part of the source major muscle, we can see this long nerve. This is the genitofemoral nerve, all right? So this is coming from the center of the source major muscle. From the lateral of the source major muscle, you can see over here, see this is the subcostal nerve. This is the ilio hypogastric nerve and over here we have the ilio inguinal nerve. A little fibers of the ilio inguinal have been teared over here. So the subcostal nerve, the ilio, ilio hypogastric nerve and the ilio inguinal nerve, the three nerves on the lateral side. If you go further downwards, on the lateral side, this nerve, and this is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, which crosses the iliacus muscle. Here you can see this is the iliacus muscle, all right? This is the iliacus muscle. So here we have the source major muscle. This is the quadratus lumborum muscle. And here we have the iliacus muscle. Moving more downwards, on the lateral side, you can see one very thick nerve. This nerve is the femoral nerve, okay? So on the lateral side, we have the subcostal nerve, we have the iliohypogastric nerve, and we have the ilioinguinal nerve. Going downwards, we have the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, and then the femoral nerve. On the middle side... Okay, now let me bring the camera towards the right side. If you see over here, you can see this nerve, this is the obturator's nerve, right? The obturator's nerve. And beneath the obturator's nerve, you can see this nerve. This is the lumbosacral trunk. Okay, so the obturator's nerve and the lumbosacral trunk. Basically, you can see the contents present over here. The contents of the triangle of Mercial. Here we will be looking at the contents of the triangle of Mercial. Now, what is the triangle of Mercial? It is a triangle which is present at the ella of the sacrum. The boundaries being on the midline, we will have the lumbar, the body of the lumbar vertebra. On the lateral side, we will be having the medial border of the source major muscle. And inferiorly, we will be having the ella of the sacrum. So that is the triangle of Mercial, which I'm sure you have studied in the sacrum. So the contents of the triangle of Mercial, you can see over here, 
from lateral to medial it is oils o i l s so the o stands for the obturator's nerve i stands for the iliolumbar artery you can see over here l stands for this thick nerve the lumbosacral trunk and s stands for the sympathetic chain you can see over here right so o i l s so these are the contents which are present in the triangle of mercial again the obturator's nerve the iliolumbar artery the lumbosacral trunk and the sympathetic chain okay so obturator's nerve is present on the medial side whereas the femoral nerve is present on the lateral side